Okay, next sim in the Shulchan Aruch is, uh, it's called Rambam Hilchas Deus, but in Kitzur Shulchan Aruch it's called Midas Sheyargal Bohema Adam Asatzmi. Uh, in simple English, how to be a mensch. To have the good Midas. In the Altreb Shulchan Aruch it's called Hilchas Maso Matan. In Kitzur it's called Midas, that a person should train himself to act. In the Rambam it's called Hilchas Deus. So a lot of this, by the way, Kitzur actually quotes the Rambam, in, he could just quote the Rambam in, in the Kitzit Shechonor. The Rambam, he says like this, people are different. Right? And they say I'm Shavis, and parts of I'm Shavis, they don't think alike, they don't look alike, they don't talk alike, nothing. Okay, the nature of people are different. He says like this, there are people that always get angry. There are people that never get angry. Or he gets angry once in every few years. Not a few years, harbish on him. I want to meet such a person yet. There's a person who's extremely haughty. There's a, piece, a person who's extremely modest. There's a guy that's a big Valtaiva. He has a lot of desires and lusts. And there's a guy that's not interested in that stuff. He has a pure heart. He only wants the little things. He only wants what the body needs. Uh, there's a broad person. You give him all the money in the world, he won't be happy. Like it says in the Pasuk, Shlema Melech writes, Oyev Kesev, lo Yuzbak Kesev. A guy who loves money will never be full for money. And then there's a guy, wait a minute, then there's a guy that's the opposite of that. He, it, for him it's enough, a little tiny thing, and he doesn't want anything, only what he must have, and even what he, and then you have a person who's very cheap. Even what he eats, he won't eat a lot because he's worried about spending money. What? Don't you think these things are influenced by environmental factors? No, there are people with different natures. It becomes, it becomes uh, bigger. It becomes exacerbated through uh, culture and society. Yes, if you're in a community where everybody gets everything, every new toy that comes out, then every little thing, everything that comes out. That, yeah, you're affected by society, but there are people that by nature have it, and there are people in nature don't have it. Okay? So he says the same thing. You have a, mean, a, a stingy guy, a guy that spends a lot of money. You have a merciful guy. You have a guy that's not merciful. There's all different natures that Hashem created in a person. Now, what's the Torah way of doing it? Derech HaTeva Yoshad, he says, he quotes the Ramam, a person should be Derech Emtsoi. Middle of the road guy, not an extremist. In other words, like he says, you should only want and desire things that the body needs and you can't live without them. And all your business should only be what you need to live a proper Jewish life, which today with tuition is a lot of money. Like the says, a little bit is good for a tzaddik, a little bit is enough. And you shouldn't. Uh, just throw out money, you know, waste money for no reason at all. A person should give tzedakah. I remember there's two, two instances, instances with the Rebbe that you see, Mamish. Had. There was once a time, I heard it from the guy in Tzach himself in New York. He wrote to the Rebbe, they had two options, two pu'ulas, two, you know, mitzoyim uh, things. One thing was they'd be able to put on more tefillin with people, but it'd be a more expensive uh, doing, or they can save money, but not so many people will put on tefillin. That's what he wrote to the Rebbe, which one of the two should they do? He showed me the answer from the Rebbe. It was, the Rebbe answered very sharply, since when is money an issue when it comes to putting on tefillin with people? Like The Rebbe answered very sharply, what's the even question? You're worried about maybe it's more money, but if more people are put, like, what are you talking about? For sure you have to do the more expensive one to put on tefillin. That's one thing. And from the opposite side, if the Rebbe went out of, of 770 and he saw the light in the sukkah on, which was a bulb, a big deal already, the Rebbe turned around and said, it's a shod Yiddish gelt. why are you wasting Jewish money? It might have been a few cents, but it doesn't matter. If you're wasting money, you don't waste anything. But if you need to use the money, then the money is not an issue. So that's uh, the derech emtoy of a person. Okay, a person shouldn't be depressed, he should be happy, he shouldn't, uh, you know, a person who goes in the middle of the road path, not too stingy, not too spreading money, 
not to uh, think with a few exceptions. Like? Haughtiness and anger. Oh. Okay, a person should be not living uh, um, like a hermit, you know, with nothing. Or, but the opposite side, you shouldn't want to live big. So he says like this. Gaiva and haughtiness is a very bad mida. And a person has to, it's forbidden for a person to have any gaiva even a little bit. Okay? Like the expression in Chazal is ma'oid ma'oid. It says in Pekri Ovis. Ma'oid ma'oid avei shvaruch. A person should be exceedingly, exceedingly humble. And a person, so he says, how do you train yourself to become humble? Yes, please. please huh? Expand. By looking at you. He says, you, had, you should be, speak nicely. Your head should be, oh, you know, no, 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 you know, I'm here. Uh, you should have uh, subdued. Like he says, you should look down, but your heart should be up. Well, that's what the Rebbe wrote to his son. Always look down, don't look anyone in the eye. How is that possible? And every person, one second. And every person in your own eye should be considered better than you. When you look at another person, you should say, this person is better than me. He says, why? He says like this. If he knows how to learn more than you, so then you have to honor him. If he's richer than you, then you have to honor him also. Like Rabbi would honor the, the wealthy people. If he's a lower than your wisdom or wealth, but you should think that he's more, more religious than you. He's more sincere than you. If he doesn't have Veda, you should think, oh, the other guy doesn't have Veda, he probably didn't know it's forbidden. And you do an Aveda, the person should think to himself, I'm intentional. So he says, if this is the way you train yourself to look at another person, that I'm not better than another person. If anything, the other person is better than me because I should know better and I should do better. So then a person trains himself to be extremely humble. We said many times, the Gemara says, a Tamar Chacham should have Shmini Shebeshminis, an eighth of an eighth of haughtiness. And right afterwards, the Gemara says, one of the Amiroim said, lay me nev, lay me I don't want any part of it. But one Chochem in the Gemara, when Amirah says that Tamar Chochem needs to have Shmini Shebishminis. So the Vilna Gaon said a very beautiful word. He said, what's the union of, why does the Torah use the expression eighth of an eighth? Say a 64th. Where you get the eighth of an eighth? So the Vilna Gaon said, because what the Gemara means is the eighth Pasik of the eighth parsha. The eighth parish of Chumash is Bresh's Nerech Lech of Ayech, I saw it told of Ayetzer Vayishlach. Vayishlach is the eighth parish. The eighth Pasik of Vayishlach says, Yaakov Avinu says, Katainti Mikola Chasadim U Mikola Emes. I am humbled from all the kindness Hashem did to me. So the Vilna the Goyen said, What is the Gemara's expression of an eighth of an eighth? The concept of the Pasik, Katainti Mikola Chasadim, I'm humbled. For all the kindness that Hashem does for me. So, a person has to be extremely humble. Uh, that's an extremist. That is good to be an extremist. What? Why couldn't the, the Gemara just say that every person, especially the Talmud Chacham, should have confidence, like self esteem? Confidence is not ego. Right, which is, it's a healthy Self-respect, respect for Hashem, respect for your own learning. That's separate. What about respect? That's beside e- No, ego is one thing and confidence is something else. And respect is a third thing. Why it's three Gemara, different things. Why is the Gemara proposing guidelines? No, the Gemara said... What's it? You're talking about the negativity or why the Gemara says the Tamar Chochem should have an eighth of an eighth? Because it says in order for the Tamar Chochem to have the confidence, that you need a little bit of ego. But that's only an eighth of an eighth. But the confidence has nothing to do with ego. Huh? Okay, there's, there's a fundamental difference between the two.